Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Saudi crap, bonjour. What else do you know? Any other welcomes? That's it, that's bonjour, as far man. as our language skills go in the UK because we're Ciao. all lazy at learning languages. Anyway, welcome back to Sax V2. Uh, we've been quite pleased to see how many of you have tuned in to watch our videos. When we first started it, we thought, you know, maybe there'd be a couple of hundred of you, you know, more, probably thousands of you giving us abuse for how terrible we are. Giving us stick. Giving us stick, um, but you seem to be enjoying it. So thank you for tuning in and watching us head around the shop. Yeah, but I think before we go on, Jamie, we need to, take a look into the problem that is our username. It's ever so boring. It is a bit boring, isn't it? It's a bit unimaginative. We like to be creative here we and we feel like we've fallen short here. So we're gonna give you the chance to name the channel. If yep. you've got any suggestions, please put them in your comments below. And if they're really good, we'll choose them. If they're terrible, we'll ignore it. We will totally ignore it. Anyway, George, you okay? How have you been? Yeah, I've been all right, thank you. It's freezing down here. It is freezing down here. Hang on, you're from the north. You're from Derby. 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 Yeah, um, maybe it's because I've woken up this morning and just the temperature has dropped everywhere then. It's a glorious minus one here today. We haven't <laughs> seen the sun for weeks, no. but don't worry about our vitamin D levels. Well, d worry about George's, but don't worry about mine what because I'm going to California. Am I? No, you're not coming. <laughs> why? Because <laughs> I, I see you twice a month and that's way too much. If you don't know why I'm going to California, it's because the NAM show is on. And the NAM show is a big music trade show uh, where we get to see all of our friends, uh, Theo Wani, Jodie Espina, um, all the companies, and we get uh, to catch up with everyone and look at all the latest products. If there's anything there uh, that you want us to check out, write in the comments below, let us know. Um, and where are they gonna find you? Uh, so they're going to find us actually based around the SIO stand. Um, so I'm going to be promoting a new product there, which is very exciting. Uh, so come over, take a look at that. It's a bit of a secret at the moment. Um, and if you've got any questions about the shop, about products, I'm always happy to have a chat with you about everything we've got here. Uh, and if you want to know how George's hair continues to be so glossy and shiny, I'll even fill you in on what shampoo he uses. Moving on to the main portion of this video, what is happening with Con Selma, Jamie? Well, Con Selma, a long-standing brand in the saxophone world, we've had their instruments in stock for many, many years, uh, and they've always represented great value for money. Um, Con Selma is an American company. The instruments are made in Taiwan. Yeah, um, not to be confused with Selma Paris, which are handmade in France. Exactly, yeah, totally different companies. And Con Selma have decided to take it upon themselves to rebrand these instruments to LeBlanc. At first glance, the two saxophones don't look too dissimilar mechanically. Obviously, they are different colours. However, the main difference is the price point. The Le Blanc sits at around £2,200 and the 380V is massively reduced down to £1,399. So if you fancy yourself a bargain, go for that horn. I think we should probably do a bit of a sound comparison, right? And uh, I'll, you know, I'll see what it sounds like. Let's get them in the room and see if uh, we can hear a difference. Before we do that though, Bobby McGee needs to go for a wee. There we have it, the comparison between the old 380V and the new LeBlanc. Uh, we will start with my honest opinion from behind the horn. This did feel a little bit more open and free blowing compared to 380V, but that might be inconsistencies in production. Um, it might not be the case for every single model. Um, moving to the aesthetics, clearly this is a completely different finish. This is lacquered, however, it is available in unlacquered and that is through the whole range as well, from baritone to soprano on the LeBlanc. Sound-wise, Jamie, what do you reckon? I thought it sounded pretty much the same, which would make sense because all the parts, as far as we're aware, haven't changed. So the bell, the body, the neck yeah. is identical, right. and it would make sense that it sounds the same, right? Yeah, and price point, it's moved it into a different bracket now. It has, yeah. So I suppose that's the big question we need to answer. Um, in my opinion, I think that the 
old consoles represented such good value for money that they really punched it above their weight. And perhaps now it probably sits at a more fair price point, I would say, alongside other instruments like the P. Moriac Grand Dreams, which are going to be a similar kind of standard. Yeah. So we'd always encourage you folks to come and try them against each other um, because you're, you're almost borderline Yamaha 62 territory there as well, which is kind of their entry level to the professional world of Yamaha saxes. So, um, yeah, come and try them out and see what you think. But, um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the clips and it was clear enough to see if you could find a bit of a difference. All right, be warned, George is behind the camera. We've taken a few takes of this, actually, because he can't seem to use the, uh, the gimbal very well. Yeah, it's not going well. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to try again and just see if we can get this in one take. So anyway, let me show you around the shop and just show you what else we've got in that's new at the moment. You're probably sick of us talking about them all the time, but they are amazing instruments. The Selma Supreme, they've been really hard to get hold of. I mean, even despite their you know, pretty hefty price tag, they've been selling very well and they've been pretty elusive but we've got this absolutely stunning matte lacquer in stock at the moment, and also this dark gold lacquer. Tenors have been a little bit harder to get hold of. As soon as they come in, they go straight back out again, uh, but we're doing our best to get some more in stock. Right, so the other really notable product is from Legere. So Legere have got three reeds in their more premium selection. You've got the American Cut, which is our most popular. It's kind of like a, a Daddario Select Jazz. It's very flexible, quite lively. Uh, you have the Signature, um, which is leaning towards the slightly darker side, but it's still very versatile. And then you've got the French Cut, which is the new one they've released. So this is based upon reeds like the Van Doren Traditional Blue Box. Uh, it's very focused, dark sounding. And Legere, when they initially released this, they marketed it at classical players. And it was quite interesting when we got it into the shop and everyone here played them and found they actually really liked them for jazz. Now, Legere have had a lot of feedback in regards to this, and I think they're actually going to rework the way that they market them. So if you've seen these French cut reeds and you've just seen that, oh, they're for classical players, they're not for me, ignore that. Come down to the shop or your local store, wherever that might be, give them a go because you might really like them. We'll be just about to wrap up the video, but the doorbell has just gone and we think there is an exciting surprise waiting for us. So let's go and check it out. Here we go. go. Oh, a tenor supreme in brushed gold. Look Ooh, at yeah. that. Lovely. Wow. Well, that's the first time I've actually seen one of these. We haven't had one here in the London shop. They go before um, we get a chance. They do. <laughs> yeah. I believe we've sold a couple online. They've been down to our warehouse, uh, been set up in our workshop and just gone straight out. So I believe this is the first one that's actually available to purchase. Look at that. We may have a confession to make. Yes, we got a bit ahead of ourselves yesterday. We did, and we ballsed up. Again. Again, we seem to make a habit of this. Mm. We heard the doorbell go, we saw the big Selma box, unpacked it in front of your eyes, telling you this glorious saxophone was available to purchase, and it turns out... It isn't. It isn't. It has already sold. In fact, the next two that come after that have already sold as well. But it's not all bad news. We do have some more Supreme Tenors turning up shortly. Hey. So if you are after one, please do feel free to contact us and we will do our best to supply you with one. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and leave your username ideas in the comments below. And we will pick the winner on next month's episode. Okay, we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.